Hey guys, welcome to another A-Level Maths revision video. In this video today, we're going to take a look at a topic which does cause a lot of issues every year, and that's trig identities. So, part of obviously trigonometry, um, it's quite important because you do sometimes need these trig identities to go on to solve equations. Um, so, quite an important skill. Um, so, let's have a look at some questions. So, this first question here, hopefully a nicer question to start with if you're finding these quite difficult. Um, but if not, no worries, let's work through it together. So, this first one here, what we've got is we've got sine 2 theta divided by 1 plus cos 2 theta. Okay. And what we want to show is that this is equal to tan theta. So kind of think about these as a bit like a problem solving exercise. Um, what I want to get at the very end is tan theta. And tan theta on its own is quite difficult to get a hold of. But how else can we express tan theta? Or we can express that as sine theta divided by cos theta. Okay, given that this is just in terms of sine and cos, more than likely this is going to be the end result here. Okay, sine theta over cos theta. So I know that's basically what I'm looking to obtain at the very end. So let's have a go at manipulating this expression here into sine theta over cos theta. So there's a few things you should always be kind of looking out for, and that's where any identities that you can use. Um, so straight away, the fact that this is sine 2 theta, and I've got a cos 2 theta here, what that suggests to me is that I'm going to have to use my double angle formulas here. Okay, So sine 2 theta, nice and easy to remember, that's just 2 sine theta cos theta. Okay, so that's just my numerator there. And then 1 plus cos 2 theta, so cos 2 theta is a little bit tricky to remember, and there's a few different ways you can actually express it. So first, let's just write down the 1. Now, cos 2 theta, a few different ways we can express that. So the easiest way to remember this is to remember that cos 2 theta can be expressed as cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. Okay, if you can remember that line, then you can easily derive the next two parts, okay, using the fact that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. You can just substitute into either of these, okay. So I can also obtain that cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta and then also that 2, uh, sorry, cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos squared theta minus 1, okay? So these are the three different ways we can use um, cos 2 theta. Now what I want is 2 sine theta cos theta divided by 1 plus something here so I'm basically going to get left with sine theta over cos theta so what's the easiest way to do that? Well, here, what I basically want to get rid of is one, an extra cos in the denominator. And all I'm going to obtain is basically 2 sine theta here, um, cos theta, divided by 2 cos theta. So what's that going to look like? Um, well, it'll be cos squared theta in the denominator, sorry. So what it's going to look like here, if I substitute that in, that'll be this part here. So we're replacing cos 2 theta with this. So it's going to be 2 cos squared theta minus 1. So this 1 and this minus 1 just cancel. So what I've got now is 2 sine theta cos theta divided by 2 cos squared theta. Okay, and this is looking good. This is what we were looking for. And the reason for that is because I can cancel a cos theta in the denominator with 1 in the numerator. So what I've got now is 2 sine theta divided by 2 cos theta. And like we can see, this is getting closer and closer to our um, required result. I can divide uh, top and bottom of this fraction by 2, which finally leaves me with sine theta over cos theta. And like we required, that gives us our tan theta, okay, which is equal to tan theta as required. Okay. And there we go. So two marks for that, like you can see, there's not a lot of marks um, for what's considered a, an easier one like that. Um, but like you can see, it just comes with practice. Um, it just takes, you know, a few of these questions, sit down, hammer out, um, and you will get there. So this next one, a pretty standard one here. Um, so we're using sine squared theta plus cos squared theta being identical to one. We want to show that this is equal to cos squared theta minus cos squared theta being identical to 1. So 
if we start with our original I don't know and let's see how we can manipulate that into the required form so the first thing here we've kind of got a look at what we've got so we've got sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equal to one well what I want to obtain is cosec so I'm gonna write over here so cosec squared theta minus cot squared theta being identical to one and let's just have a look at what these two expressions give us here so cosec squared theta well that's just one over sine squared theta okay so that's that part there what about cot squared theta well cot squared theta is one over tan squared theta but that's not much help here because this is in terms of sine and cos here so how else can we express tan squared theta well that would be sine squared theta over cos squared theta that's minus one over sine squared theta divided by cos squared theta and when you actually perform this division here so one over sine squared theta divided by cos squared theta what we'd actually obtain is minus cos squared theta divided by sine squared theta okay so there's a bit of a pattern emerging here now what i've got is so if we write it in full i've got one over sine squared theta minus cos squared theta over sine squared theta and this is identical to one so the pattern here is that i've got a sine squared theta here we've got a sine squared theta here so what it's looking like is that if we take our original expression here let's call it one and I divide one by sine squared theta, we should obtain the required result for part A. So if I divide everything by sine squared theta, let's see what we obtain. So we just write this out in full. So sine squared theta divided by sine squared theta, well, that'll just give us one. So, so far, what have we got? We've got one, okay? So, there's a one here, sorry, at the end. So, sure, we've got one of the terms that we need. Cos squared theta over sine squared theta, we just noted that that is cot squared theta. So, this is plus cot squared theta. And then one over sine squared theta. Again, we noticed before that that's cosec squared theta. So at this point here, we're very, very close to what we need to show. The only thing I've got to do here now is just subtract cot squared theta off both sides. So therefore, cosec squared theta minus cot squared theta is equal to one as required. Okay. So that's our part A there, two marks. Like you can see, this kind of thing you're not going to have to do once you've done a few of these you'll you'll gather the intuition for it but for the first few times it's something i would recommend try and lay out all the steps do it slowly and make sure you kind of you know you're getting all the steps down okay so that's part a let's take a look at part b here so let's get rid of everything here let's have a look at part b now even if you can't do part a part b is still um, accessible because it's a hence question and you've been given part a so what I want to prove here is that cosec, for, uh, cosec to the 4 theta minus cot to the 4 theta is identical to this expression here. So cosec squared theta plus cot squared theta. So the key to actually being able to prove this identity is noticing that on this left hand side here of the identity, this is the difference of two squares. Okay, so we're obtaining basically a product here. So what's this going to look like? Well, this will just factor now. I'll factorize to give me cosec squared theta minus cot squared theta times cosec squared theta plus cot squared theta. Okay. If you expand this, you'll just obtain the left hand side of this identity. But if you notice now, we can actually use pi a. Pi a, we were told that cosec squared theta minus cot squared theta identical to one so this part here this is equal to one so what I've got so far is one times cosec 
squared via plus cot squared via. Um, that's all I've got so far. But obviously, I'm just doing one times this expression. All I obtain is just this expression. So this is cos x squared via plus cos squared via, which is exactly what we wanted to show on the right hand side of the identity. And there we go. So we've done it. So as required. So that's part B done. So like you see, we're, we're getting through these questions. Don't be intimidated if the question looks tricky. Like you can see, this one here is actually really quick. Once you spot that this is difference of two squares, it's basically three lines and you're done. Um, you know, so some of them are a lot easier than they look. It's just, you know, getting the practice um, and getting that kind of intuition in. Okay, so let's take a look at a bit of a tricky one here. Um, this one's definitely not easy. So what I start off with here is sine theta over cos theta plus cos theta over sine theta. And I want to show that this is equal to 2 cos x 2 theta. So let's start with this left hand side here. So this sine theta over cos theta plus cos theta over sine theta. Well, there's two things you can do here. You can write this in terms of tan theta here. And this would be um, 1 over tan theta here. You can do that if you want. So it'd be cot theta. <laughs> you can do that, but you're not going to get very far. So the only other thing I can really do here is get it over a common denominator. Okay. So if I do that, this would be sine squared theta plus cos squared theta all over sine theta cos theta. Okay. So we know sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. Famous identity. That'll just give us one. So what I've got so far is one over sine theta cos theta. Now, this is very, very close to another identity that we know. So we know that um, sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta. So if you notice, this is very, very close. We've got the sine theta cos theta. We're just missing this 2 on the outside here. Okay, so what we've got is we've got half of this expression here, half of sine 2 for you. You divide this by 2, you just get this, um, or you get this. So sine 2 for you divided by 2, we'd get this divided by 2, so we get sine for you, cos for you, which if you notice is what we've got. So what I've got now here is 1 over a half of sine 2 for you. Okay. But this would just be the same as 2 over sine 2 theta. And 2 over sine 2 theta is exactly what we want to show. 2 cosec 2 theta. Remember, cosec is 1 over sine. So I've, what I've got here is 2 times 1 over sine 2 theta, which gives us 2 cosec 2 theta as required there. Okay, so there we go. Question seven done. Bit of a tricky one. If you're not really too sure where to start, that's quite a difficult one to begin with. Um, but once you get it into this form here, it's not too bad as long as you can spot that this is a half of sine two theta. Okay, so be aware that this is sometimes a bit of manipulation that you have to do with the identity of sine two theta. Um, so as long as you're seeing an example of that, it might make it a bit easier in the future. And then let's take a look at the final question here. I've got sine 2x minus tan x is identical to tan x cos 2x. So again, I'm going to begin with the left hand side here. So sine 2x minus tan x. And I'm going to try and manipulate this into this expression on the right hand side. So like always, let's just basically start using the things that we've got and see where we end up. So sine 2x, I know that identity. So that's 2 sine x cos x. I've got this minus tan x here. Now, I know there's a tan x on the right-hand side, but this tan x on its own doesn't really do anything. So what I'm going to do is use the identity that we know, and this is minus sin x over cos x. Okay. Here now, 
just like we did with the previous one, if you've got kind of these quotients, these fractions, these fractions, the easiest way to kind of deal with this is get it all over a common denominator. So if I times this part here by cos x, I get 2 sin x cos squared x minus sin x, if it's all over a common denominator, over cos x. Okay, just make sure we get everything right so far. At this stage here now, if I look at this expression, I can't do anything with the denominator, that's just cos x. And I can't divide it with anything in the numerator just yet. So what I'm going to do here is look at the numerator. And I realize I've got 2 sin x here. I've got a minus sin x here, so I can factorize that sin x. So that's going to be equal to sin x. So that'll be 2 cos squared x minus 1 all over cos x. So, okay, so the denominator doesn't change. And then this expression here, if you notice, is exactly what we need. We just need to kind of break it up a little bit. Well, this is multiplication here. I'm doing sine x times this expression here. And notice this part here. This is my trig identity here. Um, for 2 cos 2x. That's my identity there. So I can actually write this now as sine x over cos x giving us tan x, sin x over cos x, times by this expression here, which is cos 2x, which gives us tan x, cos 2x, as required. And there we go. So, we got there in the end. That brings us to the end of this video. Like always, Hope it's helped. Um, any issues, if you spot any mistakes, like always, just let us know down below.